So today we're going to give you added functionality by linking together two functions and creating a bigger function out of them. Today we're taking a look at index and match. Now to start with, we're going to take a look at them individually. So let's take a look at match. The components of match are search key. So what are you searching for? Range, which is the group of cells that you're searching for the search key in. And in this case, it actually must be a single column. And a tip here is to make sure that the height of the range matches the same size of the reference range in index, which we'll get into in a minute. And I'll even mess it up for you so that we can see how it could possibly be going wrong. And the last part is the search type. Now, while the search type is optional, which is what those square brackets mean, it takes in a value of one, zero, or minus one, depending on how you want to do the search. One is by default. So if you don't put anything in there, it will find the largest value equal to or less than the search key. And it assumes that the range is in ascending order. Zero is an exact match, and minus one is the reverse of one, which is to find the smallest value greater than or equal to the search key and assumes a descending order of the range. Now match in action. What that looks like is you can see here that E3 is our reference, B2 to B9 is the range, and you'll notice that I included the header and all of the, the letters in there. And then the search type of zero means that we're looking for an exact match. So we're looking for exactly D. And what it returns is it returns the row number. As you can see in the result preview, it returns the row number where that value can be found in that range. Now let's look at index. The components of the index function allow you to look at a reference, which is the area of cells you're searching inside of. It allows you to set a row reference inside of the reference range. Now this will be where match goes in this example and the column, which is the column that you want to return the result of. These two together function very similarly to VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP, which we haven't done yet, and can return a value from within a range depending on additional information that you're looking for. Now you can use the column value as match if that's something you wanna do. It is absolutely workable and we can take a look at that in a future video. Now let's take a look at this on the court. All right, so let's take a look at this live and in action. So I've prepped this spreadsheet with a grid of information. We've got different references and let's add in the formula here. So first we're gonna do just the match formula so you can take a look at it. If we've got match, we're going to search for the search key of D and we're gonna search for that in the range column B. Now with that, we're gonna look for an exact match. So we're gonna look for zero. Now in this situation, you can see that it returns five. Now with the range, you can see we look at one, two, three, four, five, and we've got the letter D. Now to make this really, really easy, we can look at how to write index just below it. Now we've got the reference here. So we're gonna select the entire grid of data, the entire range. We're gonna add the row reference being match and the column reference, let's return the animal, which would be three. So in this situation, you can see that it's going to return capybara. Now, this means that you've got two different cells that make up the formula. So if we just take this entire thing, we copy that, and we paste it into G2 in place of that. So now we've got the index, and then it runs this formula inside, returning the number five, and returns column three. It works exactly the same way, and we can delete that formula. Now, there's a couple of neat little tricks. You could just as easily take this match formula, we're gonna delete that out, and we're just going to say we want row five, and it would work just the same. But if we wanted to use column, and we're gonna do a different match here. So you're gonna do match the search key being letter. And then the range being the horizontal row of headers. And then the search type also being exact, which would be zero. And when we throw that in there, it returns the letter D now, if we switch this, 
to animal, it'll return capybara. I'm actually just going to undo a bunch of that and come back to where we were before. So let's take a look at that error. When we take a look at this error, let's say we made this inner range for match a little bit shorter, but we're still looking for the letter D. Now in this situation, it's going to return what's at letter C because the range used in the match formula is actually shorter. So it's looking in this range going, well, this is number four, but when you return the row here, it's number four would be C. And that's why you've got to make sure that they are the same height and it makes everything a little bit easier. Now, one thing that you could take a look at, which we can take a look at very quickly, is you can do match match inside of it. Now, I think I grabbed the wrong range. So we're going to do search key of letter, and I'm going to switch that to animal in a minute. We're going to do the range of that one being number, letter, and animal, so the headers. And we're also going to look for zero and close that out. And you can see that I didn't fix the original range. So we're going to do that. And now you've got index and match match as something you can try to really test out your learning in Google Sheets. So why don't you give this one a try in your own spreadsheet? Now, with these references here, we can switch this to animal. We can also switch this to number. And the benefit of this is that unlike VLOOKUP, you can actually look at columns to the left, to the right. The reference for that lookup value doesn't need to be the first column. So you can search through letter or you can search through animal and find what it is that you're looking for here. You just have to make sure that that row match is looking at the appropriate column that you're looking to find that in. And you can search all the way along an entire range of data to find what you're looking for. Now, inside of this, I discovered something really, really interesting. I'm going to take out this column value because I'm going to leave it at zero. Now, notice that these are optional values. If I return nothing there, or if I return zero there, what it's going to actually return as the total values is everything in that row. And it works the same way for the row, which would return everything in that column, which I found really interesting. And it added a little bit of extra value for me discovering something alongside all of y'all. With that, I invite you to challenge yourself, test out index and match, see what use cases you can come up with, and we'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe if you learned something. And remember, anything worth doing well is worth doing badly first.